Introduction There has been series of questions on the quality of having a superior or more favorable living condition or position between the rural and urban existence. However, high social status is the most important cardinal concern in the relation based on similarities and differences between rural versus urban course of human events and activities. Despite the statement of facts and reasons used to support whichever locality as conducive and a better place to reside. Although, having qualities or abilities that merit recognition in some way there is comparison between the similarity and difference of both the urban and rural existence, and of great significance or value are the aspects of choosing or selecting the most suitable locality, noticeable heterogeneity, the state of being free of physical or psychological disease, illness, or malfunction. And the state of being employed or having a job manipulates both aspects of the comparison and even though there is a mutual great advantages of living condition in both the rural and urban area, moreover, they both have an apparent same quantity, value, or measured amount of negative aspects. Comparison of life in urban and rural areas In general, both the rural and urban areas are similar in status with respect to the relations between people or groups' relations but hold opposing views in the issues of choice and multiplicity. Consequently, the life in urban areas has quite a number of optimistic in addition to the pessimistic issues which provide a particular quality or character of the standard of living. In spite of this, the life in the urban area creates avenue for diversity and choice compared to that of the rural area, for the fact that in the urban area there is wider choice variety on the standard of living and opportunities to explore from various options open to people. For example, in the urban area, there is various choice of food which could show the way to general better health because of the assortment in diet. In addition, the inhabitants of the urban areas benefit from the favorable possibility due to a combination of circumstances of accommodating various cultural or social events because of the diversity of choice compared to their rural counterparts. Consequently, they are more civilized and exposed to different culture and ethnicity within ethnic group. In spite of this, there are various and wide choice of educational institutions, both in the private and public school district in the urban area compared to the rural area and this tend to or result in the possibility of an enhanced schooling. Moreover, it is worthwhile noting that there is choice of employment alternative prospect due to the large number of businesses or establishments in the urban areas than the rural areas. Besides this, the urban dwellers have more improved and equipped healthcare sectors and there is easy access to them compared to the rural dwellers. Accordingly, human creativity shine intensely in the urban areas more than the rural area. For a span of 1,000 years, the urban areas have been the place where some particular activity is concentrated and the choice of business-related, technological progress, social relationships involving authority or power and ethnical life, thereby inducing into action by using its charm upon the whole country in areas. The incontrovertible and advancement in severity characteristic to be considered of urban area compelling recognition by economic expert and historiographers contrast with the negative situation and the effect that it has on people and public health. Partly this evolves from a latent or potential state from the iconic point located with respect to surface features of the urban region on the ground that makes the urban area comprehensible by describing the relevant structure, operation or circumstances of poor health. Research was conducted in Canada and showed that, populations in the rural showed poorer health than the others in urban, both in general health gauges, that is infant mortality, standardized mortality, life expectancy at birth, and also in factors like motor vehicle accidents, being overweight notwithstanding. Less dependence on vehicles in urban areas may possibly be the consequence of as well as greater importance on walking. However, there are a several drawbacks to living in urban also. Determining how urbanization affects poverty is essential and colored by the reality that about one-third of the people living in urban areas reside in slums. These impoverished areas are typified by the poor physical and mental health conditions of their inhabitants and by inadequate services. Although some gains have been made on the public health front in urban areas, the benefits are clearly not universal, with urban slums matching some rural mortality and morbidity rates.
However, as cities make good on their promise of better socioeconomic conditions, they can contribute to a downturn in the epidemic. Today, cities generally account for a much larger share of national economic production and have much greater potential than rural areas for reducing poverty and fulfilling aspirations. In addition, the absence of daily stress experienced in cities from peripheral factors is a vital issue. Inasmuch as the rural area has minimal number of grocery stores and recreation centers, most people in the rural areas have vast lands which are of immense importance and usage. Urban areas theoretically offer more opportunities to deal with a changing population composition, but these would have to be materialized, in the practice, through better policies on a wide front. Increases in the proportion of the rural population composed of older people have raised concerns about their well-being. On the one hand, rural dwellers in developing countries tend to be more vulnerable than the urban counterpart because of their higher incidence of poverty, greater transportation problems, and lack of access to social services and infrastructure. Conclusion Living in rural areas however has its negative aspects too. Unlike urban areas, residents in the rural areas have no vast opportunities of choosing from different employment opportunities for they are not as many in the rural areas as they are in the urban setting. In other words, if there is any statement to be made, rural living has the best worth of life. There is a better ability of hooking up with people and the landscape. Although, the living standard of both the urban and rural area is comparable because they both entails an elevated level of adoption of the behavior patterns of the surrounding culture. The inky difference is when it comes to the accessibility of choices and diversity, in particular when fundamental factors, healthcare, education, and employment options, are concerned. Everything you need for studies, essay samples, writing tools, and tips, you can find at studycorgi.com.